Welcome back to another productive vlog. We haven't done one of these in a while. So as you can probably tell, same couch, new background. I just moved into my new apartment and I did post a New York City apartment hunting video for 2022. And if you missed that, I'll link it up above so you can check that out. It's been around two weeks since I moved into this place. And although I started unboxing and settling in, it still feels like there's a lot of stuff to do. There's still a lot of boxes and miscellaneous items laying around. I'm still trying to accumulate furniture. And I feel like with any new space, it does take a couple of iterations of deep cleaning to really make this place feel clean. So I thought that this weekend would be the perfect time for me to continue to work on this apartment. The to-dos for this weekend include, first and foremost, deep cleaning my bathroom. It is a little bit of a mess and I'll show y'all the state of things in a little bit. Then I want to start setting up my desk space. I have some other furniture that I want to assemble. I have some PR boxes laying around that I need to unbox. And this would not be a productive vlog if I didn't accumulate some time to edit. So I need to find some time to do some creative work. And I think that is the checklist. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. This is the current state of my bathroom. It hasn't changed much since I last showed it to y'all, except they did kind of scrub the surrounding bathtub tiles, so there's no more mold. But everything is still very outdated and very used. I've already scrubbed this bathroom once before when I first moved in, so this is the second time that I'm deep cleaning it. It is 100% sanitary, but I just don't know if any more scrubbing will make it look any more visually pleasing. So I recently discovered this toilet wand when I stayed over at my friend's place and I loved it so much that I had to get one for myself. Basically, you have a wand and some refillable scrubbing pads. When you're ready to clean your toilet, you just take the wand and clip one on, scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub, and when you're done, you just push a button to dispose the pad. When new cleaning supplies get you excited, you know that you're getting old. Moving on to the bathtub area. I will definitely be doing some form of renovations in the future, but that will come in due time. As a temporary fix, I thought that at least I could cover up some of this mess by adding some decorative pieces. So I installed a non-slip bathroom mat, a shower liner, and this fun shower curtain that matches the original retro color tiles on the wall. It's finally time to unbox and build my new desk. I liked my old desk, but it was a little bit too small for my use cases. You know how some people just like bigger and bigger TVs? Well, I'm the same when it comes to desks. The bigger, the better. The more surface area for me to do work, to write, to be creative, and to hold all of my coffee cups. My dream desk would be a long piece of wood that perches next to a wall and extends from one end of the room to the other, and we will get there one day. But for today, I am very content with this new upgraded one. This is the FlexiSpot E4 Classic Standing Desk, and I want to give a big thank you and shout out to FlexiSpot for sending this over and for sponsoring this portion of today's video.
When I say upgrade, I mean a big upgrade. My old desk was 46 inches long and 17 inches wide, and this one is 60 inches long and 30 inches wide. The quality of the materials are top notch, and although this desk is pretty big, it still looks really minimal and sleek, which is what I love about it. Yay, it works! I've never owned a standing desk before, so this is definitely a novel addition to my workspace. I don't use the full standing mode often, but I love that I'm able to adjust the desk to my preferred sitting height because it really does help a lot with my workspace ergonomics. If you're on the market for a new desk, I cannot recommend FlexiSpot enough. They're having their Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale where you can get up to 50% off, so definitely check them out using the link in my description box down below. On top of a new desk, I also finally got a new monitor. I'm really out here trying to redeem myself after my last apartment tour and up my workstation game. This monitor has a very unique 16 by 18 aspect ratio that provides the screen space of a double monitor. Whoa! This looks like a TV! I spend so much time working and editing at home, so I really want to continue to build out the space. When I signed this apartment, I immediately knew that I wanted a wall divider of some sort. Y'all know that I love my separation of spaces, so this was a very classic Julia purchase. Not gonna lie, it looks a little odd right now, but as I continue to decorate the apartment, I am confident that it will all come together. Unfortunately, the living room area didn't have any built-in lighting, so I had to purchase a lamp. If y'all are balling on a budget like me, but you're still looking for that nice Caprani pleated inspired lamp, this one is pretty good. There are obvious differences like the material and quality, but overall, I'm very happy with this purchase because it looks beautiful in this space and is very functional as well. I've been hauling some PR packages to unbox all at once. The first one is from Burst Skincare. They were so sweet and sent over a scented candle and their holiday derma planning kit, which I'm super excited to try out. One of my favorite online stores called W Concept also sent over a bunch of pieces, so I wanted to do a quick try on haul with everything that I got. I've been really into sweaters with holes in them lately. I don't know why, but I love the slightly see-through look, so I got two. One in this black and white print and one in entirely white. Both of them are going to be so fun to layer with this winter. Since the cold is upon us, I couldn't help but get another puffer. I love the cut of this one because it has a slight A-line frame and the high neck padding helps lock in extra warmth. Y'all might have seen me wear this sling bag one too many times already because I literally wore it every single day on my Italy trip. It's so spacious and chic and so easy to carry around. I usually don't wear long skirts because I don't love how they look on me, but this one is extremely flattering. I love the little tie at the top which helps define my waist and gives this piece a little bit more shape. Moving on, I got two long sleeve shirts. I said it before and I'll say it again, I have such a soft spot for clothing pieces with unique cuts and these two were just so stunning. This black one is probably my favorite piece from this entire haul. I have a couple of long coats but surprisingly none in black, so I picked out this wool coat in this classic silhouette and the quality was so amazing. I got a small and there was still a lot of room to layer underneath. The last piece is a bit more fun and experimental, and it's this pair of pinstripe pants. This boxer brief looking layer is actually stitched onto the waist, and it's giving me like Jenny Blackpink vibes.
The weekend is coming to an end and the last thing on my to-do list is to do some editing. Today, I'm meeting up with a fellow content creator friend, Lillian. We grabbed a quick bite at our favorite Vietnamese restaurant here in New York City. If you haven't tried it yet, I will drop the name here and you will have to check it out because we both swear by this place. And afterward, we headed to a cafe to do some work. To be honest, I've been a bit lazy with editing these days, but it's been really helpful to have other creators around so we can motivate each other and do work together. <laughs> okay, maybe we goofed around for a little bit, but I promise we did make progress in our editing. I was heading home the next day for Thanksgiving break, so after we parted, I quickly dropped by my go-to spot to pick up some Chinese barbecue for my family. So that is it for today's video. I just wanted to quickly wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I am so thankful for each and every single one of you. This channel would not be where it is today without your support. So thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!